Well, come on in, everyone. We're just about to continue with more Bastion. Last time we took on Mount Zand and a bunch of Proving Grounds, because I released both those videos in the same day. Um, Galleon Mortar Skill. I'm just <laughs> checking the shop just because. And apparently this is here. Uh, special shell that splits open on impact to reveal security turret. Hardwired to defend the user. Okay, but. More importantly, in between episodes I ran through who knows where again, so that I'd have enough to upgrade this. Ooh. This is this is a hard choice actually. That'll spice things up next time it gets in trouble. I'm gonna try that out first. Next we need Oh well, we need just a bunch of fragments anyways. And but we have enough to grab this. Because it's just nice to have all of them. For completion's sake. Let's see. We'll need to get this and this. Hmm. Okay. One more shard and we'll have that. One different type of enemy and we'll have that. And a good chunk left of, to get that. So, vigils aren't exactly close to being complete. But we're getting there, so let's just just a couple shards left. The quarry's gotta have one, right? Just head on out, I suppose. Um, I suppose that was a little weird. We'll start here, though. Uh, Boundless Bay skippers in Ceylon in the Ceylonian Armada. That's hard to say. Learned their trade in relative safety here. Boundless Bay used to be a weapons test and dry dock. Ain't never been this dry though. Hmm. There is no ocean. That's a shame. Hold the attack button to exchange, extend the range of the galleon mortar. Ceylonia's armada was a glorious sight, and our ship's mortars were unstoppable. At Boundless Bay, our navy put those mortars through a rigorous inspection. Uh, this one, this one's a joke. If you get any upgrades, but. Without upgrades, it's a and little bit. And use squirts to simulate explosive impact on the surface of the sea. Choosing targets with those mortars was one of the trickiest parts. Galleon skippers needed to be patient, needed to fire at just the right times. Okay. And dogs are barking. Sounds like the kid's mortars in tip top shape. Okay. Yeah. As far as I remember, that's a joke with any upgrades whatsoever. But we'll try once more. If you got a thing for heavy artillery, then I've got the place for you. Also, I do have to mention this place looks gorgeous. Just something to note. And wait for the two whips to move back. A variety of modifications can be used to enhance the power of the mortar. Okay. And it's pretty much a puzzle game. Now it's a bad shot. Oh well. Yeah, we'll be back. Because I need fragments, but that's it. That's really a joke. Once you get the first upgrade, Too which is bad about the armada, but at least one of those mortars survived. With the um, first upgrade, actually, I can show it at least. Blast radius, really. That, that'll make. Actually, I can get that. That mortar's gonna leave a lasting impression. It's super cheap. I didn't even realize. One more try. You had to be crazy to want to swim in Boundless Bay. Yeah, it looks pretty. So call me crazy. There. And there. Almost see the fireworks over Boundless Bay. 
yeah, like I said, extremely easy with just one upgrade. Good thing we got to that mortar before the beasts of the wild learned how to use it. Thank goodness. I'd hate to see a pecker walk up to me with a galleon mortar. Yeah, that was easy. So let's head on to Burstone Quarry, Shard Detected. Once there were many such treasures in this key source of Ceylandia's wealth. The secret to how we built Ceylandia so tall and proud lies in Burstone Quarry. Imagine everything you'd need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes Burstone Quarry. For a moment, I was worried. The tunnels oh. beneath the quarry must have softened the blow from the calamity. Yeah. So I was worried. We bought the whole place from the Ura on the cheap. Every time, rocks come on. I was worried I had the wrong weapons, but I'm good. What is Same goes for its natives. Rattle tails. Why would the Ura put up with those pests? Hmm. I still can't power th power shot that well at all. Rattle tails ain't the worst of it either, but more about that in a little bit. Oh, the quarry came with a lifetime supply of wind bags. Wind bags smaller than the naked eye can see are nesting in those rocks. Well, that's fun. But there was even more to it than that. Fight, 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 fight. Don't fight me. I don't have bolts and armor. But I do have... Um, I don't even know what it is. Okay, I can't kill you. I suppose it was rude of me to try. My apologies. Ooh. Oh, those ears. I'm sorry. Oops. Quarry ain't exactly up to safety standards no more. I fell. Not Crit. only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things. Apparently, the windbags don't want you taking their stuff. Oh. So close to dead. Excuse me. Heal, please. Oh, they shoot fast. That's annoying. Oh well. Switch. I think that was important. I don't actually know. They're recording everything. All the time. Taking it all in. Mm. This is really kind of boring. There we go. And I know there's. Oh, well, this level is actually really just tricky in general. I know that much. And I could take his um, fragments. Um, could you get that one for me, please? Or not? No wonder all those beasts were drawn to. The rocks were calling them. Okay. I do not like lunkheads. I really need to find another rattle. Keeping the quarry free from pests turned out to be a problem. Out oh, there, because if I kill one, I don't get rattle tails kept tunneling in and snacking on wind bags. Without those wind bags, the quarry might not have its special qualities. Wind bags tended to the rocks, so we had to keep the rattle tails at bay. Apparently, that didn't count. Me pushing him off the edge did not count. As me killing him. That's annoying. Okay, let's unswitch this so we can go over there. It's over here. Oh, doesn't want me to go, apparently. And nothing? Nothing. But hey, we built more land, and that's one of our side objectives. Gotta get them vigils. 
And not solely because they give us stuff. That's partially it. Sorry. Now why would the Ura sell off such a fascinating place? Hmm, an armory. The Ura always were a superstitious lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there we go. Might be the gods told him the quarry's bad news. Uh, but there's a armory here for some reason. That's a little strange, to be honest. But hey, let's keep going. Let's just... This place is actually pretty confusing, I'll be honest. Even stink eyes started taking root in here. Mm, oh, I got graver gimlet, so that... Well, I thought it would help. Not really. It doesn't make much of a difference. Turning around and then stabbing. That makes a pretty big difference. 45 or 4 damage. I don't know. Not sure which is better. Something shooting at me. I heard needles bouncing off of. Yep. Well, I don't think it's shooting at me, but. Um. I don't know why I changed. Here, I'm helping. Uh, you guys gonna wake up? Apparently. I just wanted to get that guy to wake up and finish looking in this direction first. On top of that, you know that Ura hated anything above ground. Something stringy. Might be the quarry just got too much sunshine for their liking. So it's really interesting to hear Rux talk about the Ura. Because you can tell he's a bit conflicted with them. I mean, it's not really super apparent, but maybe he's trying, he is racist and he's trying to hide it, or he's trying not to be, or he's just wary, I mean, I wouldn't blame him after, I assume, all the stuff, because he said he's the one that dreamt up the walls, so I assume he's closely related with all that kind of stuff, and would you please die, thank you. In any case, it's fair to say the quarry. Oh, come on. Stop reflecting my stuff. Please. I mean, like, that uh, idol doesn't make the game that much more difficult. It just makes it annoying. Mushrooms! I don't know why. Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. Okay, apparently, the switch should be off. Excuse me. Switch. So this is actually pretty hard to navigate, all things considered. The largest ones, you know as cores. And there we go. Yep. And sticky keys broke the recording. That was dumb. A single core could keep the lights on in an entire city district. I was 90% certain that I had sticky keys disabled from playing the Minecraft. Smaller ones, we call them shards. But then again, I haven't played Minecraft in... I have literally no clue how long, so... Oh well. Uh, all's well that ends well, I suppose? Just a bit. Um, caught me off guard. I, that's probably the best way to put it. I was really confused. <laughs> I was just trying to sit there and counter the um, stationary uh, pincushion. I completely forgot its name for a moment. And now I'm all jarred. The shard's and got a fraction of core's power, enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland. Oh, come on, why would you... That was annoying. No, not him. Um, one thing that there, that I did
didn't know before that I should have is um oh wow he, that was a good amount of damage from just touching him um there is a key binding for locking on like changing which enemy you're locked onto but it's normally set to page up and page down which is entirely useless well now the quarry is all dried up these rocks are much too young to be a use so I switched mine to mouse up, mouse wheel up, and mouse wheel down. So that works. But let's just keep keep moving on, because this place is. Remember how weird. I said rattle tails ain't the worst thing in the quarry. That honor goes to a beast we took to call him, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. Mm. The only thing harder than the rocks of Burstone Quarry is Sir Lucky's head. No, I'm out of... I'm out of things. I'm out of things. This is not a good situation to be in. His big fat rump is kind of tough too. And so is the kid. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. Oh, they all died. I was just trying to not die. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says. There's a person? It's him. I've come to warn you, he says. Hey, Zulf. Ask Zulf why he left the Bastion. What happened back there between you and Rox? The Bastion is under siege. Let it fall. You should not go back. Okay. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. It's a little off-putting, not gonna lie. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Bastion. Because my countrymen will. The Bastion is under siege. Does not sound good. But we'll be taking care of that next episode. Sorry for a cliffhanger, but I mean, the story's picking up, as most stories do, so it's bound to happen at some point. So that's going to be it for this episode of Bastion. Next time, we're going to go save the Bastion. But until then, keep on keeping on.